so today i will be focusing on a very beautiful and uh, very intricate problem of imo shortlist 2015 it's very it's a one problem so it's supposed to be very easy and it is but also i have given this problem in the inequality module i took recently and in the examination and the final evaluation test actually and it will also be a problem solving sort of to the students out there uh, internal students out there so uh, i will give enough necessary hints and uh, thoughts that come to my mind while solving this problem okay so let's start first of all when you're solving this problem what first come to your mind so see the in, so see the data in the problem the first data is that a1 a the ai is actually this sequence is actually positive okay. so this automatically comes to your mind okay maybe you can keep the inequality tool of amgm hm in your arsenal of techniques you know right so positive is a very important data let's see where we use that also some important observation is that this this sequence is an infinite sequence obviously not a finite set and we are sort of to prove for general sequence of numbers okay so what do we essentially do how our sequence is defined it's defined by previous assumptions so it's essentially what i try to mean is it we are, we can do something like induction that's natural when you see something like this so induction seems very natural to use this so i'm not telling that this will be required i'm just keep pouring out my ideas what comes to my mind what come to my mind usually when i saw this problem so induction is the is another good um, weapon we have because it's really built in the problem what next um also see observe so we have to we have to prove something about this a1 plus a2 plus z n so let's give it a name first let's call it sn okay which is defined as a1 plus a2 plus dot dot n and we have to prove that it is greater than or equal to n sn is greater than or equal to n but see we have no sn in this right no initial sn so the next important very important step is that uh, before this uh, figuring out which uh, which technique will be used idea is that that's actually the first step of silly what i am telling it's a very important step that you have to connect somehow the expression connect and link expression the given expression and the sn part somehow because otherwise you cannot proceed towards your goal right so that's the first step obviously so this is a basic setup and that basic thought set that come to someone's mind to my mind rather uh, we would love if you share your views and other thoughts that come to your mind while solving this problem so that um maybe we can make a different video out of it all so actually we can you can share it for your for us for your friends and for the juniors everyone okay so we would love to have your ideas okay so now what's next so obviously we will focus on initially on this uh, very important step of connecting the expression let's try to do that let's try to simplify this equation this uh, inequality expression so it let's take the black ink so it tells that ak plus 1 is actually greater than equal to k k by ak square plus k minus 1 so it's nothing there's nothing very interesting about this expression let's try to explore and play with the algebraic expressions this is essentially so the first step is that obviously you have to find some pattern in the equation okay and uh, some something that is not changing we rather call it invariant so some expression that is not changing because uh, that is where the essential idea lies the pattern lies So let's just uh, play with the variables. So let's take k to the other side to look at make uh, to make it look clean, neat and clean. So k square plus k minus one 
So observe that if you put somehow bring the k minus one here, uh, then it will be a very good thing, right? So let's try to do that first. Um, so how to do that? The natural step is just inverse the whole thing. Um, we will get as a result. So let's try to do this. So we will get as a result. So inequality will just uh, be changed, and we will be getting that. So we will get a k square by a k. That is a k, and we will getting oh, oh nice interesting things is coming out. Uh huh. Right. See this is beautiful. Uh, two similar type of thing out here. Just it's sort of if you name this c k, then it is c k minus one, right? So c k plus one. If you name this, this c k, right? It's very interesting in the sense that yes, you know, it's essentially a pattern that you got, right? Uh, so we got c k plus one is less than equal to a k plus c k. Also, you can write c k minus one minus c k is less than equal to a k. So if you think of your aim that we are trying to combine s n, so essentially we want to add these terms, right? So we want to somehow have a k minus one, a k minus two, addition, and dot 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 a one. Okay. Essentially, see what you get. So we get another type of thing. We get c k minus c k minus one. We get c k minus one minus c k minus two, and it continues for c two minus c one. And it's interesting that we have got something automatically out of very beautiful things to get s naturally. The problem demands this to be cancellations to this. Demands this calculus cancellations, which we lovingly call telescopic sum. So what is C one? C one is put a k equal to a k equal to one. We get zero actually. So C one is actually zero. So it's a gift for us, blessing in disguise that we want to find out S k, and we got something very beautiful out here. S k is greater than very elegant and very short, neat expression. S k is greater than equal to C k plus one. So let's write this equation. S k is greater than so we get this. S k is greater than equal to C k plus one. That's actually if you think think how we are doing it, we actually using the induction step. We actually assuming that it's true for C one to C k, right? It's true for C one to C k, and we are trying to prove it for C k plus one, right? So rather we are trying to prove it for C one to Uh, C k minus one till this time, and we will try to prove this part, part, right? Essentially, so that's actually in the induction step. If we assume this, let's see what happens. So, if you assume this, that C one, the other C k minus one, it's true. Then we are getting that. When then we'll adding this, we will get similarly that C k is actually less than equal to S k minus one, right? And we additionally need to prove that c k plus one is actually less than equal to a k plus c k. These additional proof things we need to prove this part. This we have assumed, and this we need to prove for the next step. And this essentially is same as proving that. This essentially is same as saying that c k is less than equal to s k. C k plus one is less than equal to s k. It's actually equivalent to saying this too. This two together, if I don't leave thing, right? So essentially, it's the same as proving that same as claim. Our claim is that it's essentially same as proving that c k is less than c k plus one is less than equal to s k. Is same as the initial problem equivalent to the initial problem, right? Right. So let's write write down what it is. So uh, I hope you got till this point. So what is C K? C K was a k minus one by a k. So C K plus one will be k by a k plus one, which is less than equal to S K. And we know that it is true for k minus k minus one. So we know that it's true for right. 
We know that this is true for this. Right? So, what we need to do next step? Just we try to do, we will try to do the exact same thing. So, what it is now? It is same as showing that uh, AK plus 1 is actually greater than or equal to K by SK. Right? And here we need to prove that AK is greater than or equal to We are given that this is the thing for all the all, all of these items. Sorry, this, is, this will be... Okay, so okay. So this is some problem. Okay, okay, wait. So it will be K minus 1 by SK minus 1. Right? So we got a bit of symmetry around here. So I, I think we should do, we can do the problem now. So what's next? Now let's try to do SN. What is SN? So what is SK here? SK is actually, what is SK? SK is actually a K plus SK minus 1. Right? So, remember the first thing? We need to show that SK is greater than or equal to K. Right? Alright? So, we, uh, we, can, we have to assume this part only. This is the induction part. Right? That was the induction part. See, that was the induction part for the initial given conditions. So, this is the induction part for the initial given conditions. And here, we need to do the induction part for the actual thing, right? Actually, it's wrong to tell the induction part, but it's actually how um, it is developed. So, uh, I'm not taking back my words, but yeah. Induction part is actually assuming that SK minus 1 is actually less than greater than or equal to K minus 1. And using this idea, we have to K. So, we know that obviously this is greater than or equal to K minus 1 plus AK. And using this part, what we can show now? That is greater than or equal to k minus 1 plus k minus 1 into sk minus 1. Right? Now what's now? Now can you show that this is actually greater than or equal to 1? Can you show that? Mm -hmm. Think about this a little bit. Or is it greater than or equal to 1? So we need to show this that a k plus s k minus one 
is actually greater than equal to k so it's sk minus 1 plus k minus 1 by sk minus 1 which you need to show greater than equal to k right so it's same as telling that sk minus 1 whole square plus k minus 1 greater than equal to k times sk minus 1 right and uh, you get a quadratic equation like this plus k minus 1 greater than equal to 0 and can you get something out of it so you get sk minus 1 minus k minus 1 into sk minus 1 minus 1 right greater than equal to 0 right so this is actually true from the previous inequal previous induction assumption and this is actually true from the it's actually true right so essentially this turns out to be true so can we tell this my question is can we tell this from this inequality so sk is greater than or equal to k minus 1 and sk is greater than or equal to 1 and does this and does this tell anything about this inequality just give it a thought 